Hey everyone, so today we are testing gaming performance on both Ubuntu and Windows 11. Check out our last video on how to install Ubuntu. We'll also explore playing games using popular game launchers on Linux. Don't forget to subscribe. Ubuntu, a Debian-based Linux operating system, isn't traditionally built for gaming, but we are going to change that. First, head over to the App Store and download Steam. Be sure to select Debian from the filters list. Once installed, you can start exploring games. We tested titles like Delta Force Apex Legends, but they displayed an unsupported platform error. Interestingly, even some games with Windows logo still ran through Steam. To find games that are fully supported, open the category menu and select SteamOS plus Linux. This will show you games that are guaranteed to run on Ubuntu. We got our hands on Marvel Rivals a new free-to-play trending online game. Test performance, we set the graphics to the lowest possible settings at 1080p resolution using our integrated Radeon graphics. We applied the same settings on Windows 11 for a fair comparison. Keep in mind that this performance test is meant to highlight the difference between the two operating systems and not the GPU. The gaming performance of Marvel Rivals on Ubuntu Linux was quite choppy with significant lag. FPS drops were also frequent during gameplay, affecting overall smoothness. Compared to Ubuntu, the FPS was slightly higher on Windows 11, with no lagging issues at all. However, since this is not dedicated GPU, overall performance may appear limited. Once again, this test is focused on showcasing the difference between the two operating systems, not the GPU. Just like Bazite OS, you can install Windows games from other sources on Ubuntu as well. To get started, download Lutris from the Ubuntu App Center. Make sure to select Debian from Package Filter. Once installed, you can access it from the Ubuntu Applications menu. To install a game from another source, open Lutris, click Add Games, and choose Install Windows Games from an executable. Enter the game name, click Install. Then select the game setup file and proceed with the installation. We attempted to run Virtua Fighter 5 on Ubuntu, but unfortunately it didn't work. Despite installing all the required redistributable packages, the game refused to launch. Instead, we tested Elden Ring and adjusted the settings to suit our integrated Radeon graphics. Performance was much better compared to Marvel Rivals, with no stuttering or lag. Since we didn't have an on-screen display tool to show benchmarks, we appreciate your understanding. Once again, Windows 11 took the lead due to the AMD Adrenaline software, which provides performance and graphics optimizations. That said, Ubuntu still performed reasonably well and didn't feel bad at all. To download Fortnite, we need the Epic Launcher in Lutris, click on Epic Launcher from the side menu and select Install. Unfortunately, Fortnite didn't work on Ubuntu because its anti-cheat system does not support Linux. On the bright side, we were able to play Fall Guys and several other games and they ran smoothly without any issues. If you're looking to play Fortnite on Linux, Check out our video on Bazite OS on our channel. 
and don't forget to subscribe. I was really hoping to run Call of Duty Warzone on Ubuntu using the Battle.net launcher, but sadly that didn't work either. We tried enabling and disabling the BattleEye anti-cheat system, but nothing worked. So I did all this testing for you, so you don't have to waste time downloading a game only to find out it doesn't work on Linux. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. See you guys next time.